Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. So in this video I'd like to give you guys an update on my jade plants here. So what's happened previously with this plant is it was originally one large jade plant and it was my biggest jade plant. Unfortunately the rot set in, this is the original stump and all that's left of it. The uh, I had to cut all the rotten material off but I managed to save two slightly larger branches and they're the two at the back. So these have all started to grow quite nicely now. Since the last update though you'll probably notice there's not quite as many leaves as there was before. The reason for that is I had this in a conservatory over winter, there was a touch of frost, the cold temperatures sent these two cuttings into shock and they lost all their leaves. But since then they've been putting on quite good growth and it's nice strong growth as well. You can see the new growth is quite, um, the internodes are quite close together. So as you can see the, the space between the leaves is nice and tight. The reason for that is because this has been in a sunny conservatory now, the new growth has done really well because of that. It's nice short, uh, short growth, it's not leggy at all. Lots of big healthy leaves as well. Before that it was growing uh, through the autumn time in a flat with not much light. And you can see that's why lower down it's quite leggy looking. So there's a lot of leggy growth I need to cut off this. That's part of the challenge for the day. But I'll, I'll give you a quick update though on the original rootstock now. So this plant here is the original one. As I say this was cut right down to cut all the rot out. And you can see it's re-sprouted really nicely. This one is looking a lot better than the other cuttings because this was kept in a different location. So when the frost hit these two, this wasn't attacked by the frost. So it didn't actually lose any leaves. And it's been looking it's been looking really good now. You can see the new growth is really lush, very green. It's obviously got its roots down well. Now when it started to regrow in the last update, you can notice the leaves were a bit small and deformed and also they weren't looking very nice. The reason for that is um, there was very little energy in the plant when it was regrowing and it was putting on the new leaves. It didn't have much energy to, to grow the leaves but also it was hit by aphids and thrips at the same time so that damaged a lot of the leaves. And you can see that on some of these lower down leaves. Also often if you've cut back hard the first leaves often can be a bit deformed like that until the plant gets going. But the uh, the damage to the leaves, such as this kind of brownie bits there, that was caused by the thrips. But it's uh, come through that no problem now. You see the new growth is really good looking, nice and lush. So I'm just going to leave this to grow a bit longer. I'm not sure what uh, style I'm going to go for. You can see there's a lot of options there. There's lots of different stems coming up. So the, the plant's definitely surviving now. I don't need to worry about it rotting. And also I don't have to be quite as careful with watering anymore because the size of the plant is starting to match better the size of the pot. It's still a bit big the size of pot for the size of plant but it just means that it's going to grow quite quickly and I just have to be careful I don't water it too much when I do water it so that it can dry out fully before the next watering. But I can, I'm starting to increase the water um, watering on this now so it's getting uh, quite a bit of water and that's causing much better growth. And you can see it really is looking quite lush. I can also start feeding it now as well. And we should expect some really good growth on this. So, as I say, there's lots of different options when it comes to pruning. I'm not sure how many I'll keep. I certainly won't keep all of them. It's a shame that we've lost most of the original trunk. But it's good to still have that original base there. So it's got a really nice thick um, trunk to it. So I'll give you guys an update on this one in a few months time. When I might be doing a bit of pruning and deciding what what kind of shape I'm going to put this jade plant into. I might make it into a bonsai or I might just let it grow naturally, I'm not sure. Either way it looks like it's going to be multi-stemmed. Uh, it's going to look quite unusual I think with having such a big old trunk and then all these new stems coming out of it. But these two other two uh, jade plants, it certainly needs a bit of work. I did place the branches upright so this isn't the direction the branches were originally growing when they were on the plant. So it does look a bit odd but the way the branches were growing, if I stick, suck them in upright like this, they looked a little bit like trees. So there's certainly a little bit of pruning that needs to be done. Also they're very one dimensional. The reason for this is the back of them was against the rest of the branches in the plant so there's very little growth on there. You can see from that. Um, there's very little growth from this side, it's all growing out the one way but it does give me a nice view to see um, the, the branch structure quite nicely. This one's not too bad actually, the, the, the shape of the branches is not is actually alright. You have got a few horizontals but the ones coming up from that are all going up and it's roughly like you would expect a tree to look. Whereas this one over here really doesn't look right, especially this whole branch here, how it's hanging down and other bits are trailing on it. It's just a really weird shape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bit of pruning on these ones. Um, what I want to do is reduce any long unbranched stems like this one here, because that's going to continue growing on branch unless I prune it. I want to remove all this growth from the bottom as well. You can see there's lots of new shoots coming up. I don't want it to be a congested mess. I want them to have a nice clear stem so it looks like a trunk of a tree. And then as the, the uh, plant grows up, it branches more and more. So I'll be removing a lot of these lower stems. Also, if I show you around here, 
we've got some stems, some new stems coming out from the main trunk and that looks quite unusual because normally in a wild tree the lower section of the trunk doesn't have any small branches on it. Uh, as the trunk comes up it's, it's more like this in a natural tree where it starts branching and then the smaller branches appear. So I'm going to get rid of a lot of these smaller little tiny branches that are coming out of the main trunks because that just looks a bit odd. But I know that it's, go it's growing healthily now so it can definitely take quite a hard prune it shouldn't be a big issue for it. What this will also do is help green up a little bit. There's a few places where, as I say, like this one here, where you've got long sections where there's no greenery on it at all. It looks a bit odd. So cutting this hard will encourage a lot of back branching. I can then choose which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to remove. Because to be honest, it probably will be con too congested when it re-sprouts and I'll need to thin the branches out a bit. But it will give me a choice of what ones to take out. So I'll just go ahead now. As I say, this one needs the most work. And especially with this side branch here, it needs probably the whole thing taken off. Otherwise, it's just going to look quite weird having this branch coming to the side. It just doesn't look like what a natural bonsai tree would, would have, unless it was a, a cascade type of bonsai. So as you can see, I have taken quite a lot of material off these two plants. And really what I'm trying to do is trying to get to a good framework, which I can then build on in the future. So these have never been pruned before. And what I need to do is a hard initial prune to get a good framework started. And then from this uh, initial framework, I can then grow on new shoots and then get a nice shape. So it does look quite drastic. There's a lot of material taken off indeed. And I can always make a lot of cuttings from that if, if I want to. So this one was fairly straightforward. Just needs a really hard cut back. This one d didn't need as much work, but um, there's a few more things I'm, I'm not too happy with with this one. I need to work on in time. This one, though, the only things I'm not happy about with this one is there's like a straight branch coming along and lots of branches coming up from it. It just looks a bit odd. I might uh, redo this at some point and, and take some of that, that branch out. What I really want is I want it to come up like a tree, like this section here where it comes up and then the branches naturally fork and kind of branch away from each other just a bit like coming up uh, like, like, like my hand is like that I don't want to have like a, a branch that comes along and then all the fingers coming up I want it to be like a nice kind of goblet shape with the branches so that bottom section is quite nice this section here isn't great and this bit at the back certainly could do with some more work this section as well isn't too bad because um, there is another side branch coming off here that also needs a bit of work in the future then coming on to this tree, the general structure here is quite a bit better. So you can see on this one, you've got this the, the nice branching coming up the whole tree. Um, this, even with some of these side branches as well, even though this one's coming to the side, not all the branches are coming up. So there's two branches coming off it, but they come out to the side instead of directly up. So that just looks a little bit more natural. But then when it comes to the back, there's nothing really coming out from this section here. And I feel like there should be maybe one more branch. So I've left that one not pruned um, to get a bit of size on that, get it a bit bigger and thicker. I've left it unpruned. If you don't prune them, it helps to thicken up the branches quicker. But then obviously it looks quite leggy for a while until it does thicken up. What I'll do is I'll let this grow quite tall and then cut it back hard. And with cutting it back hard, changing the ratio of length to width, it makes it look a lot thicker as well. So that's all for this one really. Now because it's um, mid-summer, these should respond really well. Um, because also they've been growing well over the summer so far, they've plenty of energy in the plants, healthy plants. They're going to respond really well for the, to this pruning. If you have healthy jade plants, pruning is not an issue at all. You can cut them really hard actually. For an example, even though this one wasn't healthy, when I cut it back hard, this was cut right down to the base and it's regrown, it's regrown absolutely lovely. So even old old um, old wood on, on jade plants does actually regrow. So don't worry too much if you are pruning a jade plant. You can prune into the hardwood, into the old thicker stems and they'll still re-sprout no problem. That's one of the nice things about jade plants is they do regrow quite nicely. Only thing I will need to watch out for is you get quite a lot of uh, dieback on the stems. So, for example, the, in between the um, the nodes on the stems, I'll give you a close up now so I can explain it a little bit better. 
So I'll use this older stem as an example because the nodes are much bigger on the older stems. So the node is basically where the uh, the side branch comes out of, or when it's a younger plant, it's where the um, where the leaves attach. That's the section where new growth will appear from. And so you can see the gap in between is the internode. You want to cut just on that internode. But what will happen with jade plants? is that that whole section will shrivel up. So for example, if I, if I cut this in the middle, just round about there, what will happen is it will shrivel, obviously this whole section on the left will be taken off, but the section between the cut and this next node will shrivel up and then fall off. Sometimes it depends on the plant, it might want to die back further and it might go back to a second node. But normally if it's right in the middle, if you cut it right in the middle of the node, it will then die back to that, that section there. So I've tried to cut most of them close to a node to make sure there's not too much dieback, but there will be a little bit. That's, that's just a natural thing with jade plants, really. These two at the back, I will, uh, I'll just let them grow and I'll give you guys an update in a few months' time. I'll probably be doing quite a lot of thinning because there'll be lots of new branches coming on that and I'll choose which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to get rid of. I'll also need to start about wiring. I might need to do a bit of wiring to, to adjust the, the, the stems as they grow in. For this one, for example, this one's quite a loose one. It can easily be manipulated and bent around. That one I'd like to actually probably take out a bit, a bit lower. But what might happen with that is the weight of it will naturally cause it to lower. That often quite happens with jade plants, especially if you've got quite a long, thin stem with no branches. You get a lot of new growth starting at the end with the heavy leaves. That weight often pulls it down. So it's quite likely that's going to happen with that. So that's why I'm not going to wire it quite yet. Um, but we'll see. You might do a bit of wiring in the ones as, when the time comes to it. As it comes to the original plant, I'm going to leave that completely unpruned for now. Um, this is a, a jade plant that I never actually pruned. Um, the only thing I did do when this was a larger plant was a couple of lower branches, but apart from that, I left it unpruned and it just grew a really nice shape naturally. And I'll, I'll put a photo in now so you can see what kind of na nice natural shape it came to. So it wasn't pruned, but it was pushed up against the window, which kept it. So it's, this is why it grew kind of mainly in two directions and not in in all three directions. This time this isn't going to be pressed up against the windowsill. I've got space in the conservatory so it's going to grow in all directions. So I'm going to leave it unpruned. Jade plants, if they're in a really sunny position, they will generally grow into a lovely branch structure. They won't need any pruning whatsoever. And that's what I'm hoping to do with this one. But as I say, there's a lot of branches coming up from the base and I may want to bonsai in the future. So I'll just leave it uh, open for now and I'll just make a decision later on as it grows and gets larger. The nice thing with jade plants, if I wanted to give this a reset, I could cut it all the way back down to that main stem at the bottom and then I would just throw up lots of new shoots and I could come back to this stage and then I could just restart the whole thing and make a decision then. So that's all for this update. I'll give you guys another update in a few months time. It's probably going to be uh, quite a while for the next update because jades do grow slowly. These are going to put on some good growth over the next couple of months because it is the middle of summer and then we're coming into autumn and, and winter and with the daylights being so short here in Scotland and the cold temperatures, they're probably going to stop growing for quite a long time. So it might even be spring to the next update. It just depends how well they grow and how quickly they grow as to when the next stage is requiring pruning or anything like that. We may even get some flowering, I'm not sure. These plants are a little bit young for flowering but it's going to be in a conservatory where it gets quite cold and it's the cold temperatures that really induces these plants to flower. So we'll see, there could be flowers, I'm not sure. And that's all for this update and I'll see you guys in a few months time.